Well, good morning, uh, friends and uh, neighbors. I'm here this morning, just going to take the dog for a walk. And wherever, wherever he went. Anyway, this is how we get back here on this road, which is really kind of a driveway. Anyway, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe in prayer? I believe in prayer. I believe in God and, and answered prayer. Bullet! Come on, buddy. I don't know where he goes. A couple of years ago, I was, uh, well, a couple of years ago, what we were, what was I doing? Anyway, I must have been retired from truck driving. <coughs> and I just felt like I needed a little companion to have around. Hmm. I guess I'll be walking myself today. So anyway, I asked the Lord for a little companion. And uh, one day, and uh, the Lord was asking me, what do you want? And I said, I want a small dog. I don't want a big one. Then he asked me what color I wanted it. And I said, I want a black and white dog. And uh, with, a, with a rat tail, <laughs> I guess you'd call it. Sticks up, curls up. But it doesn't stay curled up all the time. Sometimes he lays it down. Oh my gosh. I'm out here again by myself. Not knowing where he is. He'll catch up to me. So anyway, a couple of weeks later, my wife and I were at the flea market doing our booth thing. Trying to sell some t-shirts and stuff. And a friend of ours came over with her purse and she said you want to see what's in my pocketbook and I said well is it a snake <laughs> she said no it's nothing like a snake and so she set it down on the table and she opened it up and when she did there was this cute little face with two big eyes and a cute nose looking up at me and I, I fell in love immediately and uh, I picked him up, and I held him, and I cuddled him, and I petted him all over, and everything. And she said, I didn't really, well, anyway, you know, I thought it was her dog. And, and she said, do you want him? And I said, well, I better ask my wife first. But, uh, yeah, I wanted him. <laughs> That's what I told her. Yeah, I want him. And uh, so here comes my wife. And. We put it back in the purse, and she asked my wife, said, you want to see what's in my purse? Jeff's already seen what's in there. And uh, so she said, is it a snake? And she said, no, it's not a snake. And uh, so she reached it. She looked in there and, and pulled out this little puppy. And... Uh, there she uh, was holding the little puppy, and uh, I, I told her, I said, we're, we're going to keep him. She's giving him to us, and uh, her uh, father-in-law wasn't able to have dogs. He already had plenty, and, and one of his dogs had puppies, so uh, we brought him home, and for the first month I think or maybe three weeks or a month I slept with him in my lap in my chair all covered up in my blanket that the uh, had made that somebody made for me and, uh, and finally my my wife convinced me to come to bed and put the dog in a little crate there by the bed and uh, well that worked out good for about five minutes or so next thing you know dogs in the bed with us cute little thing wasn't no bigger than my hand and 
In fact, I went to the store the next day after I brought him home and, and had him in my pocket. <laughs> he was so small and tiny and cute. And uh, that's why I believe in prayer. Now, this just isn't the only case, the only instance that God answered prayer. I have a, a, some more stories to tell like that. But anyway, <clears throat> we have him. And he's three years old now. A little bundle of energy. And a good reason for me to get out of the house. So, thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. I tell these stories. Maybe to inspire you to, you know, don't give up on praying. Uh, you're going to have to pray long and hard sometimes. And sometimes God answers in a few days. Sometimes he answers. He don't always tell us. You know, hey, look over here, look over here. Sometimes we have to look for those answers. So everybody have a good day. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.